Hello world, I'm Sarah Matthews and in this video I'll be walking you through how to reduce the size of stars in your astrophotography images using Photoshop without any third-party plugin. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have Photoshop open and I have a final color image of the North American Nebula with a whole bunch of stars that are fairly large. Uh, so I would recommend using a stretched 16-bit TIFF file for this, but you can use any type of file that you'd like. Um, but it, most importantly, try to do these steps at the end of your processing workflow. When you have a final color image like this that's free of gradients, that's been color calibrated, and is just ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is just copy our image into a new layer. So for my Mac users, uh, just come over here to um, your layer section and do Command J or for my Windows users, do Control J, or you can just do right click on the layer and say duplicate layer here, press OK. Um, so you're gonna wanna make sure that this new layer is selected, um, and then we're going to select the stars. So come up here to select, down here to color range, and we're gonna make sure that highlights is selected, and we're gonna work with the fuzziness slider tool first, um, so the key here is to get as many of the stars in this view as possible without getting the nebula or the galaxy that you're working with. Um, so that looks pretty good. Range-wise, again, kind of same rule of thumb. Probably just stay at 255 just to be safe. I think that works pretty well. Um, but make sure your um, you're doing this for your data set, uh, this might look a little bit different. So I'm going to press OK. And you should see these marching ants around your stars. So the next thing that we're going to do is expand the selection size around the stars because we want to make sure that we're capturing the entirety of the stars. So we're going to come up here to select again, down here to modify, expand. Um, and generally I find that expanding the selection size by two pixels is good for this um, image size that I have, which is, I believe, a 48 or sorry, uh, 2800 by 4200 image. So if you have a larger image, um, maybe try three pixels, but two generally is pretty good. So I'm going to press, I'm going to select two and press OK. And you should see those marching ants get a little bit larger, which is good. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is um, make sure that we are keeping the edges uh, smooth when we do minimize the star size. So we're going to come up here to select, modify, feather. And I'm going to um, use a two pixel feather radius for this as well. Um, I find that works pretty well for a lot of different data sets and image sizes. And I'm going to press OK. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is actually reduce the star size. So if you are a PixInsight uh, user and you're familiar with reducing the size of stars there using morphological transformation, the erosion tool um, in there, uh, it works uh, the same way um, here with the minimize tool or the minimum tool. So I'm going to come up here to filter, down here to other, to minimum, and it's going to look like this. Under preserve, make sure roundness is selected because they are uh, stars, so they're going to be round. Um, for the radius, I find anywhere between 0.5 to 1.5 works well. You can see how that's going to look beforehand. Um, so if you left click on the image here, you can see the before and then after. And so say I wanted to do, you know, I don't know, 0.5. So here I'd have before, here I'd have after for after, but I'm going to go with 1.0, so it's going to look like this before, and then after, and then I'm going to press OK. Alright, so then to deselect um, our marching ants for my Mac users, just do Command D. For my Windows users, it's Control D, or you can come up here to select, deselect. And here, you, here we go. We have minimized the star size. Uh, the star sizes looks pretty good. Um, we can turn off the visibility to see our before um, on that last uh, layer, like this. So that's our before, that's our after, before, after. So it did a pretty good job. If you want to reduce the star size even more, just go back up to you know, uh, filter other minimum and give it a go again. 
but I find that these settings work pretty well. Um, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, please let me know down in the comments um, what else you guys would like to see. And I really appreciate all of your support. And if you found this valuable, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, but until then, I hope you all have clear skies.